So now that you've written javadoc style comments with our slash and the double asterisk, it would be nice if we could create a web page that looks just like these web pages, but for our own class. So this is the documentation web page for the rectangle class in the java.awt package. And it would be nice to have a page just like this for my own car class. Well, it turns out there's a tool that's available. It, if you install the JDK, Java's development kit, then there's a tool called Javadoc that will read in comments like these and turn them into a web page just like the web page that you saw for the rectangle class. Eclipse has some links that will automatically uh, do this for you, but you need to know what's going on as you use it. So you've written all your Javadoc style comments. You go to Project and Generate Javadoc. One of the first things you'll need to do, if you've never done this before, is to let Eclipse know where your Javadoc tool is located. So there's a good chance when you first do this, you'll you'll see a blank place here with no uh, no Javadoc command in it. If you click on Configure, you can hunt down where this is located, and it turns out a standard Windows installation of the JDK will put a Java folder inside your program files folder, either in your program files folder or your program files x86 folder. And if I browse to that Java folder and then into the JDK folder and then into the bin folder, in there I will find a tool that's javadoc.exe. That's the tool that reads my comments and turns them into a web page. So I select that and from now on that will be here whenever I want to generate my javadoc comments. I have to tell Eclipse which of my projects have classes that I want to generate uh, javadoc pages for and I'm only working with my car class right now so I'll select that. I'll leave all the other options on their default. Let's look at the next couple pages. I'm not going to do anything on this page, but you can feel free to explore your options. There's a style sheet option in case you don't like the standard style for the Javadoc comments web pages. And a place where you can put some other options, I'll actually show you an option here in a minute. This last option will actually open uh, a browser to show you your Javadoc comments. So let's do that so we can see what happens. And we'll save any files. Now this browser will open up right in Eclipse <clears throat> and we can see this web page that we were hoping to see. Here's my car class and here's the constructor. If I click on the name of the constructor we'll see more information about that constructor, my notes here, and the information about the make, year, and mileage parameters. Or, if I'm interested in one of the methods, click on the get mileage method, which returns an int. Click on get mileage, and I find out that this int is the car's mileage. So I now have a web page with all my documentation. If I find a mistake on here somewhere, I just need to go back to here to change the comments and then regenerate the javadoc. Now uh, I want to point out something to you, a couple things. One is where this, a, a bunch of files are generated when you create the javadoc web page and these are all in my workspace. So I've got my workspace folder open. Here is my workspace the car project and in the car project here's my source code folder and my class file folder and the doc folder is where my javadoc web page files end up so when I look in here I find a number of HTML pages if you double click the index.html it will open up in whatever your default browser is the web page 
Okay, so the same thing we were seeing in the Eclipse browser, but it's for me it's kind of nice to see it in an actual web browser. The thing I want to point out that I don't particularly like to see in my own Javadoc web page is right here. Notice that I have a car constructor and one of its parameters is a string and the other two are ints. And the ints look fine, int year and int mileage. But instead of saying string make, it says java.lang.string make. So it's fully, it's, it gives a fully qualified name for that class. I would like, instead of java.lang.string, I would like just string. So if you'd like to get rid of the qualifier, there's an option called no qualifier. And I'll show you how we use that. go back. It, it's, it's not a change that I have to make in the comments themselves. It's just a change in when I use J the Javadoc tool. It's an option that I set. So when I go to this page where I can specify other Javadoc options, I can say no. So it's hyphen and then no qualifier, all one long word. All and generate the documentation again. And this time, notice that instead of java.lang.string, I have just string. So that's it. Generate the tags using slash double asterisk, and generate the web page by using the generate javadoc tool. Remember to look, you're, you may have to hunt down where this is located. I found that on the Mac, on my Mac, it was already filled in there. I didn't need to hunt it down. And you can set options when you use the javadoc tool.